I bought a couple of these project boxes at Dayton for 25 cents a piece last year. They measure three and a quarter inches long by two inches high by one and a half inches deep. The clear plastic top fits tightly onto the case so you could easily waterproof it by adding a bead of GE silicone. In this picture I've drilled all the holes for the switch and the RCA jacks. On the other side is a hole for the 2.5 millimeter DC power jack. I bought a bunch of prototyping boards on eBay a while ago. They're three and a half inches by about six inches. I don't remember how much I paid, but they were not expensive. And you can see the country of origin clearly marked in the margin. The holes are drilled with the standard 2.5 millimeter spacing. At this point, I'm going to digress for a minute or two <clears throat> to provide a better insight into the pickaxe processors. What you're looking at is a programming board for the 08M2 processor. <clears throat> I bought this board from the manufacturer. All the components were already installed, and I installed the female header pins that you see to facilitate testing. <clears throat> All the pickaxe programming boards are the same, except for the processor socket. The 08M2, which is in this project, is, is what I would call the entrance processor. It's small, but by no means limited, either in its memory or its functionality. The 08M2 can process serial in and serial out data. It can handle touch sensors. It can do digital to analog or analog to digital conversions and it will also do pulse width modulation. It can probably do other things of which I'm not aware either. In this shot is the 14M2, which is the next step up from the 08M2. In addition to more I.O. pins, it has a bit more functionality. When I saw how little there was to the programming board, I opted to build my own to program the 14M2 chip. All the programming for these chips is done on a Windows computer. The program is then downloaded through a special programming cable, which I think is around $20, to the programming board. Once the chip is programmed, you pop it out of the socket and plug it into your project and you're good to go. Here is the project on a breadboard. The red board at the top is a project board I bought from SparkFun Electronics when I was becoming familiar with the world of microprocessors. I would highly recommend starting out with a simple project kit. Right now, its only purpose is to supply 5 volts DC to the pickaxe project. To the left, you can see the pickaxe prototyping board. And although you can't see it, the 08M2 is in there. In the front is the ultrasonic ranger. The red and yellow LEDs are being used to simulate the lighting. The relays are not necessary right now. In this view, you can see the components permanently mounted. On the left is the voltage reducing supply, which transforms 12 to 20 volts to a regulated 5 volts DC. I prefer to use a socket for the microprocessor. <clears throat> Applying heat directly to the pins of the pickaxe 08M2 probably wouldn't hurt it, but why take chances? I'll install the processor later. Towards the right, you can see the silver 2N2222 switching transistors, which receive the output from the processor and do the actual relay switching. 